Hey, welcome back guys. As you can see, I'm not in the garage. I'm in the backyard on the day enjoying somewhat of a beautiful day. I mean, I don't even have to have any coat on. It's a nice day, but the sun is not out. Now, as you can see, the last video I put out, I don't know what went wrong. The only thing I can figure went wrong is the memory card. I left all my memory cards at home. I brought one. Uh, I bought one in the store. I put it in video, edited it. It looks great. I post a video and then I start getting these comments and I look back and realize what the heck happened? The quality, I, I don't know what happened guys, but I'm gonna make sure from now on, I don't even use that memory card anymore. I'm gonna make sure I check it out because I went to all that trouble and the, the video that everyone's been waiting to see, the color of the car, and it came, came out like crap. But as you can see from the thumbnail, I finally got my wheel in from, um, I don't know how they say this, if it's AZ, a, AZA wheels or AZA wheels, but you can find them on Instagram. I will have their information uh, in the description below so you guys can check them out and i recommend you guys check them out because when you see this wheel oh my god you are going to love it well for those people who are boring they won't love it but i'm telling you the quality of their work second to none i mean <laughs> they did me justice I, you know what just just let me show you the wheel and then you can decide from there what's in the box what's in the box what's in the box right a jack in the box. <laughs> well, Jack's gonna freaking stay in the box. <laughs> All right, I've been waiting on this steering wheel for months, so let's see what we got in here. I mean, first, I was told it wasn't gonna be delivered till Monday, and it showed up on Friday, so. Where are you going? What do you think this is? It's not for you, huh? You're rubbing your hands like you think it belongs to you. <laughs> but from the pictures I saw, guys, oh boy. What the heck did they do under here? One box. Be careful, don't want to cut anything. Well, it is well packed. And there's two of them in there. Holy shit, how long is it gonna take me to unpack this? Wow, I don't even know which one is which. Oh, this one, this one must be mine. Feel how thick that is. Feel this one now. <laughs> well, I don't know, but let's find out. Holy shit. How long did it take them to bubble wrap this thing? Oh my lord, look at this thing. Take a look at that. Look at the grips on that. Wow. Oh, she's a fat one. <laughs> Just look at the carbon work. Man, these guys do some good work. Look at the leather. All the stitching. Wow. Take a look, take a feel. Work, 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 work. one is for the other M3 he just went standard uh, flat bottom flat top he didn't do anything fancy he has the M trim in there also stitching I should say this is really nice Wow here is a closer and better look at the wheel just look at this thing I mean these guys knocked it out of the park it's the first Flat top, flat bottom, honeycomb, I don't care what anyone says. It's the first and the best. Same as my roof, same honeycomb carbon, the first one ever on a M3. But just look at this. Now, I have some paddles that I have to uh, assemble. I have to take the old one apart and uh, put these on, put it on here so you guys can get a good look of what it's going to look like 
But first, we're gonna disassemble this, and there's a few clips along the sides here. You just have to pop them off one by one. Don't break them, because this is a second set of paddles. I have four of these things, like, because I can't find just the back here for the other one, so I have to go out and buy a whole new set of paddles. Now, I just have to take these little clips apart without breaking them. Oh, come on. But it's so delicate, you gotta be careful. There we go. Well, still one clip. So when you take one off, the other one pop, pop back on. Pop back. The other one goes back. Oh, there we go. Now, there's another side clip here, and it's the same kind of clip. We got one here, one by the wire and one underneath. A lot of freaking clips just to get these paddles apart. There you go. And now that gold pin in there that comes out the bottom, you just have to push it in. Yeah, I'm using a knife. And now you just pull it out. And there it goes. But that's not the part you have to worry about. The part you have to worry about when you take this out there is a little ball bearing in there. That, oh, there it is. See what I mean? There's a, there's a, whoa, whoa. There's a little ball bearing. It has to go in there. There's a little hole in there that it has to go in. Just drop it in, shake it around until it's in, there you go, it's in the hole. Put it down carefully. Now you grab the paddle and this is the minus. So I try to mi find the minus one here. Yep. There's a little torque screw in there. Take it out. Pull this piece out. Grab your minus and this only fits one way in here. See, so goes in, but if you try it this way, it will not fit. So it only fits one way. Put it in. Put the screw back in. Tighten it. Then you grab this. Make sure the bearing and it moved again. Come on. Because if the bearing is not in the hole, this will not go in. And there it is, now I grab the pin, slide it in, and push it down. You gotta line it up properly. There you go. It's all back in. And now you put the little clip on the side to cover the plate. Like that, and this one back here. And paddle assembled. And you grab this one, take the screw out, slip the wire in the steering wheel, this wire here, slip it in here. And then, you just put the screw in. Oh, this is the wrong size torque, so you gotta go one up. Boop. And you tighten it. And you do the same to the other one. One down. Oh yeah. One more to go. And these are in great shape, man. Really good shape. Now, 
This was also a done button is change. Yeah. This was also a done in honeycomb. I did this here myself. I didn't send this to them. I'm not gonna plug most of this stuff back in because I still gotta take it out to put this thing in real back in the car. But I will put this on. Okay, this one's not in all the way. There we go. And now for the earbag. There is not a lot of sunlight out here, but man, check how good this thing looks. Oh my lord. So I got my paddles on there, steering wheel in there, my M button, because I'm doing a blue starter button too. And man, just check out the carbon on here. This stuff just looks amazing. Check it out. Wow, and this thing is nice and thick. The grips are nice. It's a fat boy. It's a fat boy. <laughs> Just check it out guys. I mean, just look how nice, just, just look at the, how good it joins there. They did a great job. And they also give me the M stitching on there. This thing is just crazy, man. I love it. That's all I can say. You guys knocked it out of the park. I can see why it took so long. Cause I tell you guys, this stuff is hard to work with. But you guys can see there's another wheel. This is for the other, uh, the E9, the M3 on my channel. So this one, he went flat bottom and top. He just went leather. Yeah, he's, he's not a nutball like me. He just like it simple, but it still looks good. And the grip on this man is so nice. And this wheel is practically twice the weight of this wheel, man. This thing is heavy because of the, the carbon there. But, uh, and I have uh, my earbags in, but yeah, this is still a lot heavier than this. But man, so yeah, we're both doing the flat bottom and flat top. But man, just just look at them. So guys, I'm gonna have all the description in in the. I'm gonna have their links in the description because you guys should check them out. They do really good work. Just just look look at the detail on this thing here. Just look at that, eh? It the leather work is so good on this thing. It took them a while, but they knocked it out the park. Just the same thing with this one. Just just look at the detail in this one. Well guys, you see, they knocked it out of the park. I mean, <laughs> I can't stop smiling. I mean, the weight on that thing, the grip on that thing, it just feels so damn good. Um, you guys gotta reach out to them. Actually, I'm gonna see if they can even start hooking up Fat Mat subscribers with some kind of discount. And guys, yes, I'm still gonna, I got two wheels from you and there's a third one to come and all depends on how things go. There might be more to come because you guys are my wheel guys from now on. No matter what, I'm coming to you guys. I know this one was a pain in your ass and I don't care what anyone say, this is one of one. I mean, I seen other honeycomb stuff popping up on YouTube all of a sudden, but this is the one of one right here, baby. It's the only, you might see other ones places, but it's after they, they see this stuff, they start doing it. Because after I start doing carbon root, I mean the honeycomb carbon, I start seeing it pop up everywhere now because people realize, hey, it's different and people might want it. Original here, I did it first, guys. Sorry, I did it first. But guys, you can see this wheel is just wicked. I mean, <laughs> I can't wait to put it in the car, but I can't because I don't want it getting dirty and I have to clean it. It's clean now, I want to keep it clean because I still have to water, sand, paint, buff, put the interior back together, all that stuff. I have to drive the car to get some work done to it. So I won't put it in until the car is assembled. And you guys are going to have a good picture and a good view of it when it's in the car. It's going to look so good in the car. I just can't wait to, uh, oh my God. I'm telling you guys that AZ, A as a wheel, however you say it, you knocked it out of the park. I salute you. Yeah, you did a wicked job. Some people think, oh, it's just a steering wheel. No, they did a wicked job on the steering wheel. Like I said, there's so much more to come for this car. All the reassembled. The seats are out getting done now. So imagine the wheel and the seats and everything, the interior and everything is all back together. And oh my God, I can't, I'm just, I can't wait. But with this COVID-19 stuff, it's just going to slow things down a bit. But I will try and send these videos out as much as possible because I'm still working. I'm in the construction field, so I'm still working. If you like what you see, and I know most of you do, you got to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, the thumbs up, the comments, all that. Keep it coming. And please, yes, I know a lot of guys like to text me back on my personal number. Do it in the video. That's where it counts. Bring the rating up. 
that's why I that's where I like him that's where I want it but I know you like what you see so hit that subscribe button but that's it for now so later <laughs>